Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. So in this video, we'll talk about soil investigation. And the topic of our video is selection of boreholes and their depth. How we select the number of boreholes and their depth. So let's start. Uh, for a rough estimate, using Sauer's and Sauer equation for a light steel or narrow concrete building, you can use this equation to predict the depth of the borehole. For example, Z is the depth, B stands for borehole, then 10 into S power raised to the power 0.7. S is a uh, number of stories. Let's say if number of stories are 2, you will have to put the value of 2 here and then it will give, this equation will give the depth of the borehole in feet. If you want to measure the depth of the borehole in meters, then you will use this equation. So using this equation, you can predict the depth of the borehole then if then if the building is of heavy steel or white concrete then you can use this equation similarly you can estimate the depth of the borehole then there are some general guidelines uh, before uh, performing the soil investigations you need to consider these points very carefully for example the number of boreholes should be uh, adequate to detect the variation of soil if the location of load zone footprint of the uh, structure are known, you should consider the drilling at least one borehole at the location of the heaviest load. So one borehole should be below the heaviest load. So as a guide, minimum of three boreholes should be drilled for a building area of about 250 meters square. For a building area of 250 meters square, three boreholes should be drilled and 5 for a building area of 1000 meters square. Then in incompressible soils such as clays, the boring should penetrate to at least between 1 and 3 times the width of the proposed foundation below the depth of embedment or until the stress increment due to the heaviest foundation load is less than 10%, whichever is greater. So if let's say if the width of the building is, uh, width of the foundation is 2 meter, then the boring should penetrate up to 6 meter. Similarly, in very stiff clays and dense coarse grained soils, boring should penetrate 5 meter to 6 meter to prove that the thickness of stratum is adequate. Borings should penetrate at least 3 meter into the rock. If rock is encountered, then the boring should be uh, penetrate, should penetrate up to 3 meter into the rock. Boring must penetrate below any fills or very soft deposits. So borings should extend below the soft or fill material. Then the minimum depth of borehole should be 6 meter unless bedrock or very dense material is encountered. Then uh, you, can, uh, you can see some guidelines regarding the number of boreholes uh, with respect to the area of the building. If the area of the building is less than 100, then the number of minimum number of boreholes should be 3. If the area is 1000 meters square, then minimum number of boreholes should be 5. Similarly, if area of the building is 10,000 meters square, then the boreholes, minimum number of boreholes should be 10. Then uh, there, there are some guidelines regarding the minimum number of boreholes and minimum depth of the foundation. For a shallow foundation, uh, the minimum number of boreholes should be 1 and uh, the boreholes should be placed at node points along the grade of sizes varying from 15 into 15 to 14 to 40. And the minimum depth should be 1B to 3B as I explained earlier. B here is the width foundation, the assumed with foundation and it, it depends upon the experience. Then for the pile foundations, same as shallow foundation and the minimum depth of boring should be 25 meter to 30 meter. And if bedrock is encountered, encountered then you need to penetrate up to 3 meter. For a bridge, if it is abutment, then minimum number of boreholes should be 2 and if it peers, then minimum number of boreholes should be 2 and the minimum depth guidelines are same as given above for the pile foundation. Then for the retaining walls, it depends upon the length. If length is length of the retaining wall is less than 30 meter, then the minimum number of boreholes should be 1 and if it is greater than 30 meter, then one borehole 
for every third pole for every 30 meter length or 1 to 2 times the height of the wall similarly 1 to 2 times the wall height should be the minimum depth for the retaining wall and same if bedrock is encountered then drilling should penetrate up to 3 meter and for the cut slopes along the length of the slope one for every 60 meter length one minimum bore hole for every 60 meter length then uh, the depth should for the depth 6 meter below the bottom of the cut slope and similarly embankments including roadways highway motorway etc one bore hole for every 60 meter and the minimum depth should be the greater of 2 multiply by height or 6 meters so these are some guidelines regarding the selection of number of pore holes and their depth so i hope you like the video if you like the video don't forget to subscribe and share and allah hafiz